What up, what up, what up? It's your boy Juizy. Welcome to another edition of Joyce's Delivers, my own favorites. Welcome back, my new viewers. Welcome to the channel. Okay, today is. Now, I always forget, man. Every time I do this intro, I forget what day it is. That, that truck is not going to stop me from doing the intro. All right, today is Wednesday, right? Yeah, Wednesday, March 27th. And as I turn on the camera, I notice that it's cloudy. So it seems like it's going to rain. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But if you guys saw my last video, I told you guys that I'm going to try to do this earn by time strategy where I'm not just accepting every order. Remember, it's crazy because before we wouldn't only we wouldn't accept long distance order, but I'm going to do the opposite. I'm going to decline short distance orders if I get an order and then I, I, I deliver it, right? But then right after I deliver it, I get an, an other order, another order. Could be Chipotle, McDonald's. It seems like it happens a lot with McDonald's, like the fast food, fast food places. Like for an extra, for like a mile, two miles, three miles, like the short distance orders that I get it right after I do another order, those orders tend to be zero dollar tips. So I'm going to start declining those orders. And if I get out of the two declines, so which means if I do two declines in one hour and I get clocked out, then I'll get clocked out. I'm not going to care. I'll just do the other apps until the next hour starts. And then I will do earn by time again. And we're going to see what happens. If I decline those type of little orders, because they, the reason why I wanted the cut is because they're no tip most of the time and I get like two to three dollars and it gets me mad man two to three to four dollars I, I want to get at least you know five bucks or something so to be able to get those five dollar no tip orders it has to be like five it has to be like four miles five miles stuff like that where you're sitting in traffic and you're you know doing this and that whatever so we'll see what happens guys and then with that, we're also going to multi-app, obviously. Now, with that being said, I'm not going to waste any more time on this intro and bore you guys with the details. Don't forget to smash that like button to help me blow up in the YouTube world. And if you like the video at the end and you don't watch videos, it's me doing delivery, subscribe on my people. Let's get the hustle started. Let's do it. The time is 12.14 p.m. and we accepted our first order of the day. It is a Chipotle order and I, I didn't get it right after clocking in, but I got it as I was driving. So, I mean, it's not necessarily a no tip order. And it's not like I was delivering another order and I got this one right after. No, it's just the first order. So, I mean, it could be a tip, could not, who knows. But let's just go get it. I'm gonna wait actually a few minutes before I pick it up. I'm gonna milk the clock a little bit. All right, I just waited for like five minutes outside. Let's see. That's yeah. All right, so who's ready? You know, as expected. Let's go deliver slowly. Let's deliver slowly, let's do it. The, you two, the drink's in there. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right, the first, the first order was the one I wanted to avoid. It happened. Snap, man! And we got another order. I accepted. It's a three-mile order, Subway. And we got it right after. But it's three miles. It's not like it's one mile on a Subway. Maybe it's a tip. I don't know. Oh, I'm in the wrong spot. This thing's closed. Okay, we made it to Subway, guys. Let's, uh, hold on. Hold on. It says to pick it up by... 12.39? No, 12.38 and it's 12.39. Let me wait, let me wait five minutes. All right guys, I waited the five minutes, so let's go get it. Oh, it's not even ready. Hola, es para el DoorDash. All right, it's not even ready, so I'll just chill here. Oh, yeah? Si. Gracias a ti, no buen día. All right, let's go deliver this, let's do it. Guys, I got another strategy. That customer actually tipped me three bucks. Thank you, customer. I appreciate you. But that customer, the let's say it was no tip. It was four dollars. You know we, you know, let's do this, guys. Because look, those two others orders. Otherwise, I wouldn't have gotten any money because I would probably decline a lot of orders if I was earned by offer or Uber Eats or my old strategy, waiting for Instacart orders, getting no money. So this is what I'm gonna do. The last two orders, I picked it up five minutes or I picked it up five minutes after the pickup time. So. And both orders, I delivered it two to three minutes after the delivery time. So I was still within the five minutes. Cause after five minutes, you get you get hit with a late, with a late, a late like a delivered late. So as long as you deliver it up to five minutes after the delivery time, then you should be good. So I'm gonna wait five minutes. And if it's like a one mile order, I'll wait like I might get hit with the deliver, deliver late, but I'll do closer to 10 minutes waiting 10 minutes to pick up the order something like that we'll play around with it as we're as we're continuing but so far it's been good with uh, five minutes so and the customer doesn't get 
an order that late either. Like this customer right now, they tip three bucks. So they got their order within the five minute window. The first customer got their order within the five minute window, but there was no tip. So it just depends, I guess. That's another thing. We can't be screwing with the customers that much because customers do tip. There, there are customers that tip. There's some that don't, but there's some that do, you know? The time is 1.05 p.m. and we accepted another DoorDash. It's, it's a bagel place. Where is it? It's supposed to be here somewhere. Outrageous bagel. Oh, uh, it is 3.3, 3.3. What am I saying? 3.3 miles and I did wait the five minutes. So let's go in. Hello. Thank you. Have a good day. All right, we got the order guys. Let's go deliver. Let's do it. Well, just like that, I made $20 in the first hour. I'm actually very shocked, but let's do it. The time is 1.30, my people, and we accepted a Chipotle DoorDash, 2.4 miles. I'm 100, and no, I'm kidding, 95% sure it's no tip, but we'll wait the five minutes after the pickup time. So let's go. Look, I see here a $13 Publix Instacart order. $13 for 15 items. Orders like that, you know? Right, we waited four minutes, it's been four minutes. It is right here. But well, by the time I get to my car, it's gonna be way over the five minutes and it's already ready, obviously. Let's uh, crawl, we should crawl to the car. How about that? All right, but let's deliver this up, let's do it. Okay, so this order, I'm gonna be there three minutes before the delivery time. So I think I, had, I needed to wait a little bit more than the five minutes. I guess it's cause the, the like I didn't have any traffic, I didn't have to do any U-turns and not, no crazy traffic patterns. So next time I have to see if it'll be fast when I get there. So I have to kind of calculate, oh, will it be fast or not? And then wait a little bit more than five minutes. Actually, I'm gonna be a little bit past the delivery time because I have to go to these, you know, to a suite and walk to the person's uh, office. So we'll be good, guys. We'll, we'll complete delivery four minutes after delivery time. Are we there? Okay, so what I'm noticing is that if the the order is a short distance and I complete delivery like four minutes, you know, past the delivery time, so like less a little bit less than five minutes, so four minutes past the delivery time, then I'll get paid like maybe 480, 490. So I guess I could do it like that. But if the delivery is longer, like not two to three, but maybe four miles or maybe five, it will be over five bucks. So I think we should be. That's a sweet spot right there. The time is 2.03 p.m. and we accepted another Chipotle order. But this one's also short distance. This is 2.3 miles, so I gotta be careful. I wanna see if I can make, I think I can get five bucks if I deliver it in 22 minutes. It says to deliver it in 16 minutes. Ah, man, all right, let's, let's get it. Oh, I got a lift ride, $3, $3 ride. All right, we're, we parked a little bit far, so I can just pick it up now. It's only three minutes after the pickup time. So by the time I get there, is this one here, this big one. Let's check out all these two bags, there's five items. But I'm gonna slowly walk to my car, which is a little bit far away. And then let's deliver, let's do it. The time is 2.30 p.m. and we accepted an Instacart order. I haven't done an Instacart in the last few videos. So let me, let me give you guys an Instacart order for my Instacart people out there. I've been leaving you guys high and dry. Thing is, uh, it says Instacart. You already know about Instacart. I'm not going to get into any more rants. But it's a $10 order for 12 items. And it's less than $1 per item. But I was looking at the items. They seem easy enough. No cases of water. Nothing crazy. I don't have to wait in the deli for like a sandwich or any of that stuff. Should be easy pick and goes. So let's do it. All right, we got our first item right here. Almond flavor, right? Oh no, vanilla almond. So it's these vanilla almond flavored biscuit thingies. We need two sharing size M&Ms over here. Oh, right here, look, this thing was hidden. The sausage beef. Oh, this, this patty, the 26 count. I'm gonna get it quick and then the rest of the items are easy. Okay, we need one of these bacon bits over here. Oh, perfect, we get the customer two of these uh, strawberry vanillas, the cold ones. Shredded Parmesan cheese, which is this one right here. So the original pork link sausage. 
We need a Chobani, but the zero sugar. I don't see the zero sugar. Yeah, I see the zero sugar right here. And they don't have the, let me see. So zero sugar, milk and cookies. And then strawberry cheesecake. Yeah, I see it over here. So strawberry cheesecake. The last item, guys. We're in the last item. Two of these strawberry right here. These strawberry thingy-majiggies. And then we are done. Let's go, baby. All right, my people, it's been 12 minutes and we're done. We had to re re refund like two things, so this might go under $10. So, yeah, I would have rather preferred to do a, it say it's $9, I would have preferred to do a $9 food delivery, but it's all good. Let's, uh, let's pay for this and it's going to help improve our dollar to mile ratio, though, because this is a, like a 1.1 mile order. So, let's say it's $9. For one mile, I guess. Whatever. Let's go. Okay, the time is 3:20, and we accepted a, a little Caesar's order, and then we get a, we got a stack after that. So first, it was a five-mile Little Caesar's order, but most of the miles is just driving over here, and Little Caesar's, and then we got a 2.1-mile two, stack. My lovely humans, let's go get it. It's been what four minutes after the pickup time, so. I was gonna wait five minutes, but ah, one minute is. Let's see if they're both ready. Yep, they're both ready. Let's go get it. Go. Esto lleva un Pepsi de do de veinte lit de twenty ounce. Así ya. All right, we got this order. Let's put it in the car real quick and then get the other one. The other one's there. It's ready also. And we got the the one that I like, the DoorDash pizza bag that I like right here. So we'll put the one pizza order here. Boom, baby. Let's go. Let's see, I'm pretty sure I have to take a picture of the bag. Yeah, I gotta take a picture of the bag. Okay, I sat in the car for like two minutes. Let's go get the other one. Get the order right here. Because this says to pick up by, oh no, we're good, we're good. All right, we got it right here. Now we got both orders, let us deliver, let's do it. Hey, so I'm here doing a subway order. I waited the five minutes and I was gonna pick it up and then I got a stack and I'm like, man, I, I thought this would happen more often, but it doesn't. I guess maybe in lunchtime it's not as busy or it's Wednesday too, the slowest day. But actually the waiting the five minutes could be like during more busy times, it could give us an extra like a opportunity to get a stack on it, you know, which is good. But we're just wanna let you guys know that. Cause I stopped recording. So I'll get with you guys in the final numbers. Alright ladies and gentlemen, it's meant to be in this video. Thank you for watching. Alright, this is how much you made for the day. On Instacart, we made $29.39, surprisingly. And I'll tell you why. On Uber, we made $52.24. I'm gonna tell you why. And on DoorDash, we made $63.43.46 for a total of $145.09. Okay, these are the orders that we did off camera, the DoorDash orders. We did. Well, first, if you didn't see my short video, the Uber task is officially live on in South Florida. So I could probably start getting some new Uber task jobs or something like that. And then if I do, I'll let you guys know how it goes. And then maybe I could record some footage. I mean, I don't want to record inside someone's house, but or maybe I should record inside someone's house so they don't think so, so, you know, for safety reasons, I don't know. Okay, so these are the orders that we did. We did the subway order that I was telling you about, 3.9 mile subway, and then we got the stack that I told you about, 0.6 mile stack. We did both of those orders, both of them no tip orders, $9.51, 40 minutes to complete. And then a sushi sake order, 4.4 miles. We did that order, ended up being a $6.09 order. The, the customer tipped 50 cents. Thank you, the customer, for the 50 cents. And then we did an eight point, no, we declined an 8.1 mile order, taco about it, about it, about it. We declined to say, hey, do you wanna use this client for the hour? I said, yes, of course, let's use it. And then I accepted this order by mistake. I screenshotted it and then I hit the accept. Instead of my brain wanting to hit the accept, I was like, oh my goodness. So I had to cancel the order, guys. I canceled it, my, oh, I didn't screenshot it, but my cancel or my completion rate went down to 99%. I thought it was already at 99%. I, I guess it went up to 100, but now it went back down to 99. So, and then I declined this order. 8.9 miles pokey 88 order. And then it said, hey, 
You want to decline and end the dash? You have already declined one offer in the past hour. If you have, if you decline this offer, you will your dash will end. You'll still be able to dash per offer. I said yes, decline and end it. So I ended it, guys. My driving insight was good. I only did three rapid accelerations, two hard brakings, and oh, I, I didn't screenshot it, but I remember my acceptance rate is currently at a 72% acceptance rating. So I'm already getting closer to the 70. So I have to be careful. I ended that, that the dash and I did not dash ever like for the rest of the day. And that actually helped me out because look, we did two Uber orders, Uber Eats. So we did a fresh micro order, all right? Nine, I did a, I think it was a DoorDash order that took me all the way to this place. And I stayed there, $9.15. 27 minutes to complete 2.7 miles, the fresh market. And then we did a gyro bill order, $17 order, 69 cents, 18 minutes to complete 5.7 miles. That's because I wasn't doing the DoorDash earn by time. So maybe I could start, you know, decline or start stop doing DoorDash earn by time at, you know, in the nighttime and just do Uber Eats and Instacart. Because I did another good Instacart order. So I did that one, right? And then I did a McDonald's order, $5.27, 15 minutes to complete, 3.1 miles. No, that wasn't a good one. And then the Jersey Mike's order, $8.03, 3.9 miles. I thought that was less than that, but it's all right. 15 minutes to complete. And then a $12.10 Panera Bread order, 2.5 miles, 12 minutes to complete. Fantastic Uber Eats orders because I did not have the DoorDash earned by time. And then I did this order because I didn't have DoorDash earned by time. It was at nighttime, $18.92, $5.46 base pay, $13.46 tip Instacart order. That was a bang. And if you made it to the end of this journey, though, my lovely humans, thank you for watching. I was going to tell you guys something else. I forgot, guys. But if you made it to the end, like I said, thank you for watching. Don't forget to smash that like button to below for the YouTube world. And if you like this video and you don't watch future videos, make doing delivery, should subscribe to my people. My people, have a good day. Have a good year. Have a good career. Stay hustling out there. Love yourself. Believe in yourself. It's your boy, Joyce. Let's go.